Okay. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We are live from Creative World in Frankfurt, Germany. I'm Kristana, and I'm the owner of Bella Renavari by Kristana, and I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Belle Paint Company. And do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, and I'm Angela. <laughs> I am the owner and creative energy of Helen over here in Frankfurt, Germany. So this is like a home show for me. And um, yes, I'm a primary retailer for Dixie Bell, and I'm very honored to be on the page today. So, <laughs> so nervous. <laughs> nervous. Um, so what we're gonna do is, if we can't see, I did this paint or the tape line. I told Angela she's not allowed to paint over it. So don't even try. It. She's going to. I can't trust her. <laughs> um, so she's gonna do her style over on this side, and I'm gonna do my style over on this side, just to have fun and kind of show you guys a different style on the same piece. Um, so that's what we're gonna do, and we can talk through what we're gonna do a little bit. Um, I don't have a voice, so if you have questions, Alana, our great camera girl, <laughs> Alana Fulford, she is behind the camera so she can answer questions for you as well. So we're going to paint and tell you what we're doing and we're just going to have fun. So, so that's what we're going to start with that. So what we've done to that piece before, it's um, clean nicely. Yeah, it's clean very nice with um, white lighting actually. Somebody asked what, what happened to your voice. <laughs> um, well, my husband will be happy that I don't have a <laughs> um, I was in the, at the Bells and Bow Tour last weekend, and then I came home, and now I'm doing this. So I think it's just from talking. Uh, talking too much, can you believe it? <laughs> I feel like they're having a hard time hearing you guys because of the noise. Yeah, so I've been shaking the paint through. And then if you can't hear us, we're sorry. There's a lot of people here. Um, so just watch us paint. <laughs> enjoy the show. Yeah, enjoy the show. <laughs> if you have any questions, uh, you can leave them in, also in German, because I'm originally German, so we can answer them also. Yeah. Um, I'll do that later. And I will um, do Alana's my best. Alana's just getting the German calls, so she's um, <laughs> going to be ready you should to speak us. to them in German. Say, <laughs> say, we are going to paint this piece now in German. Um, wir fangen jetzt an, dieses 
Schweckchen zu bemalen. Und ich wünsche euch viel Spaß. <lacht> Well, you say anything I tell you to say. <laughs> <laughs> you can find out eventually. <laughs> so for the base coat, I'm just going to dampen up my brush a little bit. And I'm going to use the paint out of the lid first. If you guys, I tagged Angela's business page in the description. So if you're not over on her Facebook page, she does quite a few lives. Um, and again, if you are in Germany or if you're in Europe, she's a retailer, so she can ship to you. So, and she does um, videos and things like that. And so, you should just go hang out with her over on her Facebook page. Because <laughs> I said so. Because I have a, I don't have a voice. You should feel bad for me. <laughs> And you can see, I mean, usually this is a very shiny piece, and whoever worked this paint before knows as soon as you put the paint on, you drag it off straight away. And you can see the paint holds on there pretty nicely. So, yeah, the test will be uh, <coughs> drying. Yeah, we see. Someone asked Kristana how you ended up living in Europe. Uh, my husband is active duty military, US military and Air Force. Could you hear that? Could you hear that? <laughs> I'm not sure. I can, but someone said it popped up as a memory today that someone that Donna Williams has been watching you for a year as of today. Happy anniversary. <laughs> How was your guys' this weekend? What'd you guys do this weekend? Because we've been here all weekend. Right? I don't even know what day it is anymore. Uh, it's Monday. It's Monday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you pop on, just let us know where you're watching from. Yeah. Is anybody yeah. from here at the show also, maybe? So. Yeah, is anyone here at the show and you guys aren't coming to hang out with us? We need to track you down. Mm. I, the people, they, they came from all over the place, didn't they? They did. There's they people from New Zealand. Asia. You know, we just had a guy that was hanging out with us earlier from, well, he lives in, he lives here, but he's from Japan, um, China, Russia, from Italy, um, Bulgaria, There's a lot of people saying hi from all over. Someone said hi from Wales. Oh, yeah. Hi to Wales. Um, and then someone also asked, how did you prep the piece because they missed the beginning? really well. Um, this is a piece what we're going to do is we're actually going to test to see how well the adhesion is and how well we're able to paint it on a high gloss piece because we don't have time to prep it with slick stick so we've cleaned it really well with uh, white lightning. This looks like the ocean. I feel like I'm going to have to paint Wait till you see this blue one. I feel like I'm gonna have to paint like an ocean scene. Oh wow. Fish and you. Yeah, so this is fish and mermaid. Trying to get close. Because I'm not like the loud talker. Then <laughs> so, uh, you just use a hairdryer or a heat gun. I mean, that's not the elegant way, but uh, for speeding up the process. So, excuse me, I have to go to that other booth and tell them to stop talking. I know. I was like, <laughs> uh, we're busy over here. <laughs> 
Oh, your weekend's working great. You want to pop on over this side? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you told me that I'm allowed to go in the other side. Oh, right. Oh. Wow, that backfired. I just, I just, uh, I'm told to play as I'm told. Yeah. 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 If <laughs> fault, the whole place goes dark, yeah. <laughs> That's what I hear. She, she told me it was. <laughs> well, mine is super loud. Okay. Let me just sit first so that you can like talk. <laughs> 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 Someone's on from Switzerland. Oh, we've got a lot of people from Switzerland. Thank you for popping in. So. <laughs> Someone said, don't they know who you are? Everyone should be standing at your booth watching. Exactly. <laughs> we have to teach them. We have to teach them. <laughs> Someone left you a comment in German, okay. so you can go back. Um, I can try to say it, but I might butcher it. So it says, well, they say hello. It says, hello, ihr Leiben, Grub aus Marburg. Are they saying where they're from? They're from Marburg, maybe? I don't know. Uh, hang on, I, I just cover it. It's right here. Ah, hallo ihr Lieben, Gruß aus Marburg. Yeah. That's my sweetheart. That, oh, that was very bad. Sorry, I tried. No, great. <laughs> I did try. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Hello, 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 H
Um, someone asked what the, you're going to do at the top. Do you have any plans yet? I don't really know. I mean, <laughs> they might like, like just leave it. Just, just, I don't know. We'll see how Maybe long do it tomorrow or something. So, yeah, we don't know yet. This is just a fun piece to kind of show the difference between two artists. And mm -hmm. Her style and my style. And kind of what the styles look like next to each other. The thing is, you know, when I do my pieces, I'm, I'm like, I've got like a basic idea and um, it really develops while I'm painting, you know. I would never say it's going to be exact like this and this and this and this. I have a ground idea, I know I'm going to use those colors, but maybe I'm going to swap out a color or whatever, you know. But then yeah, I've got a basic plan and then we see how we go. Yeah. So. I like that though, because that's when the best things happen, when you don't really yeah. have a plan just kind of wing it because if you have a plan and then it doesn't go according to plan then you're like ah. so if you go in like kind of just eh, then it always turns out great yeah, yeah. that's right like that. so and you can see the paint is already like dragging a little bit i'm not worried about that because that's the style i'm going to, to have it's going to be a bit grungy and just like some brush strokes to see and so there's going to be some dry brush on top of it so they are purpose. Like I'm going to start blending this little section right here because this is in my head. I was thinking it's going to be ombre. So I'm going to start blending this. So, what I do is I mist this. I try not to mist Angela's stuff. <laughs> I'm going to mist this so that it's nice and I can have something to work with. I'm going to start with the cobalt blue and start down. I feel like I'm painting upside down. I am. Okay, start down here, and I'm going to work my way up into the Dixie Belle blue. I'm going to go vertical. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Dixie Belle blue, and I'm going to start up here and go down into the cobalt. Hopefully my hair is not. Is my hair in the way? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so after I don't have a hard line anymore, what I like to do is take a neutral brush, which is a brush that doesn't have any paint on it, and I'm going to miss this area, and I'm going to try to just blend it with this brush to kind of feather it and soften that look. So I'm going to just spray it and start down here and just kind of and I wipe it off while I'm doing it so I get any excess paint off. Like that. It looks like ocean. So I'm gonna go over this with the dark just a little bit. I got a different idea. So I blended those, but I'm gonna kind of I think I'm going to mix some sea spray. <laughs> this is what happens when you get crazy ideas. <laughs> so I'm drying my second coat now. And then I'm going to go in with the dry brushing. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Thanks so much. 
car. Someone said it looks like waves. Yes, yeah. I did, yes. <laughs> I've actually just done this, uh, my Mr. Industrial, you see that? <laughs> my Mr. Industrial, and I used uh, quite a bit of sea spray on there to get some, some crusty, rusty structure on there. This was actually for my European friends, uh, because we don't get the patina collection over here in Europe. And I just showed you on my page how you can achieve the patina effect just with the chalk mineral paints from Dixie Bell. Oh. And I think it turned out to not too bad. So I'm cool. quite, quite happy with it. That's Just go over and check it out. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Industry. It's almost finished. So we just got to do the top. I'm taking my sea spray. You need a small one to Oh, yeah. Getting into the dried sarge. This is my second color I'm using. Just a bit of a dirty color. A bit of a green in it. Hi. Hello. You see? It's beautiful. Can you see it? This is too yeah, bright. No, yeah, you can okay. see it. It's cool. It's my phone. I have usually problems with it. <laughs> So I'm taking um, a new brush now. I've got the, the mini angle now. The, the minis are my favorite brushes from Dixie Bell because they've got a short, short handle and it's for me easy, easy to use. So I'm going to use that. Again, dry brush. I'm just going to use just a little bit of paint. First I'm going to dry. And I'm going to wipe it off a little bit. I'm first going to, because I just want to have a little bit of paint to do that effect. I'm taking it a bit off on the gloss. So it's just hardly any paint on there. And then I'm going just randomly over the piece. And just like this. More paint. And you can see there's like this um, structure coming out. That's basically what I'm doing. Very blotchy. It's going to be fine at the end. Oh, oh <laughs> now you have a new painting shirt. I know. I know why I took the other shirt off. So, <laughs> so I took um, my sea spray and I mixed it with paint blue and I dabbed it on here. And now I'm taking my cobalt blue and I'm kind of just adding more to give it a little bit more dimension because I wasn't really sure what I was going to do, but. Just rolling with it. I don't think something's gonna happen. Nice on the see. So now I'm taking my Dixie Bell blue and kind of just dabbing it on the top. Yeah, there's some up on the table too. Yeah, there's some right there. 
I think it is the number What time is it here? <laughs> Do it while she's not looking. Um, someone is asking for your your web address for um, to order. My web address is um, I think I'm tagged up in the description. It's Elf of Helden, and um, you find the, the website on there. But, um, it's also it's um, www.elfen-und-helden.de. But you find it when you go to my Facebook page. So, Just go ahead and click on it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. 
tried to cover the whole thing up basically in this um, style. You have the structure. It's just like dry brushing, really. You can see the brush strokes, it always gives it like um, yeah, like um, like a linen texture. Jane from Port Ritchie, Florida. She's actually our local retailer to where the Dixie Bell headquarters is. Oh, okay. So yeah, I help her with her orders and stuff. So hi, Jane. <laughs> Thank you for popping in. So what's, what time is it on the day? It's six hours behind. So six what would that be, behind. like nine? nine yeah, nine a.m. Good morning to you guys then. Yeah, right? Good morning. <laughs> your day is just starting. Yeah. What's nicer to start your day with something? Right? I'm gonna come back in now with my bright. How do you say it? Sage. Sage. Yes. <laughs> Sounds fancier Very when you French. say it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sage is uh, the French word. Really, yeah. So, uh, That's funny. You know, you know what I mean, guys. Yeah. This is just like layering the color so that the colors are coming through underneath. Just randomly, there's no plan to it. It looks wild. Nice. This piece itself wasn't very fancy. <laughs> just gave our information to possibly some um, stockists in Spain. I spoke we Spanish did have as, someone on from Spain. Yeah, so. I tried to speak as well as I could. <laughs> the okay, I'm make some rocks. It's like a rock to me. Well, we are creatives. What is the shadow? I'm going to put a little mermaid right here, Ariel. Oh, there you oh, go. Right here. <laughs> Are you gonna do the one two? <laughs> yep, that's, that's exactly how I would do it from a distance. Yeah. Hi. Nice. That's a nice thing, you know. Just you know, try it out. It is only paint. If you don't like it, just paint over it again. Exactly. camera it looks cool. Now I need to find the colors for Little Mermaid. You thought I was kidding. I'm not. I'm going to paint them there. Well, definitely you'll need like honky tonk for her hair. Honky tonk for her hair. 
Someone asked if you're sick, Kristana. <laughs> Lisa Ryder said you sound like she did um, at the Bells and Bow tour. Yeah, Lisa, no, I don't think I'm sick. I think it's from the Bells and Bow and then coming here and traveling and because I traveled to the States and then came back here and then right away came to Frankfurt. So it's possible. I'm sick. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's loads of talking. The yeah, you talk too so much. Is, uh, I talk too much. <laughs> Alana says I talk <laughs> It's true. <laughs> I'm going to clean these brushes really quick while I let this dry. And obviously, like we're here at the show, we don't have like here our whole equipment here. So This is what's called winging it when you're an artist and you're swinging it. Limited. Mm -hmm. I was tempted to bring my uh, studio, but <laughs> I had trouble getting in here today anyway because I brought that little um, side table and I was just like walking in with my two trolleys and there's like a serious security was like, whoa, where do you think you are going? And I'm like, to Dixieville? <laughs> like, what? No, you're not. <laughs> I know. And then I, I went all the way down there and then they, they let her go. They felt sorry for me. I mean, did you stop her? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so innocent. She says, I brought candy. That's how you get it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I actually did. But I didn't yeah, tell she them. Did. She didn't tell them because she'd have to pay them. Are you known for not cleaning your brushes, Kristana? Uh, yes. <laughs> Someone said, that. what? Kristana is cleaning her brushes right away? <laughs> yeah, but it's only because I'm only like the 56 brush maker. <laughs> I know. We, we only, only have a short amount, or a small yeah. amount of brushes. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to Patty asked, is this a trade show or an artist showcase? It's a trade show. Yeah. It's a trade show. Okay, I gotta find my, my green. <clears throat> this, does this look like that could be her too? Is that too green? I'm gonna get this and then a darker green. Yeah, evergreen. Maybe Palmetto? Someone asked you, they said sage, drop cloth, and what is the medium color? The medium color is the sage, actually. And I thought uh, the first coat was uh, caviar, it's the darkest color. The medium color is the dried sage, and the lightest color is drop cloth. They're all like, you know, that it's all like a little bit peeking through somewhere and it's like those structure to be, to be seen of those brush strokes. As I hope you can hear us all right. I'm not very loud talking right now. There's loads of background noises here. Is it really uh, loud? Can you guys hear us? I think they can. Um, some people said it was kind of loud. Just Someone leave it in said the comments, that. You know, if you can't hear us or something, you can just let us know. Let me get like the megaphone or something. They won't listen to us if we go around telling them to see something. Just out. Palmetto. Palmetto's good. Good call, Anna. For what? Oh, Palmetto. <laughs> um, Leona asked. Leona asked if you used fluff. No. <laughs> 
I didn't want to have it too uh, bright light. Fluff is so uh, pretty bright. It's a lovely color, but for my taste for this um, style, it's too bright. Mm -hmm. They're saying they can hear fine, but they can definitely hear there's lots of people here. <laughs> <laughs> Doing better than I can. Just like poked. Forgot to paint for a second. <laughs> Diana asked if you're making an iguana. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a mermaid. <laughs> she asked if it was an iguana. No, it wasn't. <laughs> um, yeah, are mermaids lizards? <laughs> uh, hmm. Good question. Um, no, Diana, I'm not. Now I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> you made her cry. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> they said they can't see very well. They're so they're trying to see the caviar. So the caviar, you just like see it it's peeking underneath. underneath. You know, it's just like those little darker spots. Yeah. <laughs> I think I should just paint over. Okay, here's the perfect example uh, of what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't want to say I'm a quitter, okay, because I'm not a quitter, but I can see right now that this is not going to turn out. So I'm going to show you how you can just paint right over it. She must be in Florida or something, because remember we were talking about the iguanas falling out of the trees? She said, sorry, we had them falling out of the tree trees last week, so they were on her mind. It was getting so cold in Florida, because it doesn't normally, they, they sit in trees, they're okay though. But I guess they freeze, and then they fall, because they like their limbs lose feeling. And then, I guess once they defrost, they wake back up. So it's okay. So they're okay, they're just really cold. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pet iguana growing up. His name was Rocky. Rocky. That's pretty Rocky. cool. Are they good pets? Are they good pets? I mean, they just sit on a rock and beat themselves. Well, yeah, there you go. I mean, he was cool, but he didn't do it. It's like a goldfish. Right. <laughs> Did you tell me I ignored you? Did I ignore you? No, 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 no. I didn't ask you. So. I would always say, if you don't like something, so I'm sure Angela says this, yes. that if you don't like something, just paint over it. Yep. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to just paint heck over this iguana. <laughs> 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 Interesting now because this is another test. 
test for the it initial to that um, yeah, slick surface of that uh, piece. Because the paint, obviously, I mean, it's, it's uh, dry to the touch, but it's um, obviously not uh, totally cured. When I paint stripes, I do. <laughs> yeah, my mom and Terry always lose theirs. which are pretty similar in, um, in tone. This is Midnight Sky and uh, Caviar. So this was not long enough, so this is going to be very crisp. So definitely no. So, again, move the stripes over there to get the distance. That's what I'm going to do over the whole side. It's not very interesting, so... Uh, <laughs> okay, so you guys saw my iguana. <laughs> now everyone's actually saying that they loved it, so. They loved my iguana? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, well. So I, so this is the, the case in point of when you like something, you can paint right over it. Like, you don't even know that it was there. So right. I painted over it. And I think what I've decided is I might do more rocks or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe more rocks. Sorry guys if it's shaky, I, I'm doing my best to hold it still. You're doing great, it's just hanging there. Sure. Someone said a ship. A ship? Oh dear lord. <laughs> I think my safari is right at the top right, kind of. Like go back, it's like the third down from the right, there you go. have to like look at a picture of it first just so I can mentally get myself ready for it. Which I did not do with the mermaid. I was thinking that too. <laughs> That's what I'd have to do. So that was case in point what not to do. This one's pretty cool. Oh that is cool. Think about that. Oh yes. That'd be good. Okay. How long have we been on? Um, 50 minutes. Yeah. So I think we should watch Angela do her ghost stripes. <coughs> Are you taped off over there? Are you taped off yet or no? Do you want to do, should we move it to the side? I mean, I can go over there, but I didn't know. Okay. But then, let's finish this tape. Yes, yes, yes. 
I'm just kidding. This is one of my, I'm not, you know, because I'm not very, I've just started doing live about um, well, eight weeks ago, really. So my time management is still not very good. So I'm sorry about that. No. And I do, especially with those things, because it is more time than the professionals. I'm very honored to be here today and um, especially painting with Tristana because I've been following for such a long time and finally meeting her is just like mm -hmm. Christmas and birthday and New Year and whatever all together. So I'm very, very happy. Donna said enjoying you both so much and Shabby Chic Mobile said you are super sweet dears. That's Elle. Oh it is. Yeah. Hi Elle. Thank you. Oh you see what's happening here the last one. I know, right? Alrighty, <laughs> done. That's quite funny. <laughs> yes, you did a great job. Just leave it done. <laughs> so, finish, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I've got my stripes down. Or my tape down for the stripes, so to say. Just gonna push it on there a little harder. want to do it or if you're worried about bleed through or something like that um, you could use for the first coat for your stripes you could use the same color again like go with the caviar over it first because that's then the paint for the paint color which is, is going to bleed under the tape um, but I'm not worried about it I think this is a try for this tape also um, this is Rock tape you can get over here, and apparently it is um, especially for jobs um, that you have to have a crisp line. So we see what happens. So I think that's down fine enough. And um, I need another brush. Uh, there's some on the top, remember? If you... Yeah, there's these are. Ah, I mean, I tried yeah, to clean them, but I don't know what kind of. Yeah. Are going to do. <laughs> so I'm going to use Midnight Sky now, which is like almost like um, just a little lighter than Caviar. So. Stacy asked how the event is going. Good. So good, I lost my voice. <laughs> <laughs> right? And it's only because she's like screaming around and dancing on the table. <laughs> so maybe you can see the difference. It's just like a slight difference in the color. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want to have like bright stripes, I just want to have like, so to say, ghost stripes. And again, here, the brush is already a bit, um, a bit uh, moist. Do you say moist? Yeah. yeah. And, Damn. I'm going to use paint out of the lid again. I'm just going to go over the tape here now. The lighting is not very good here, so yeah, it's, uh, it's very bright.
forgot to bring my trainers. It's not very comfortable because there's the here, but it's so cold outside. You can't um, walk around just with trainers out there. You just you probably are like an iguana, just fall off, <laughs> frozen. <laughs> Oh, I know, isn't it crazy? It is. Because they're just not used to it. <laughs> it doesn't get cold there all the time. So. I can totally understand it, but yeah. uh, guys, am I using. I don't know. I'm using the right one. Oh, that would be Yeah, right. Yes, thank there you. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I said before, I'm very good at mixing up my colors. Yes, yeah. So that's a good proof also that you can just start painting straight away. It's just the main thing really is whatever you do, clean your piece properly. Because obviously if there is some grease or from cigarette stuff in there, um, nothing is gonna stick. You're going to make this all live videos can replay, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. As soon as we're done with our live, we'll be on replay. Well, guys, if you're watching, I would really appreciate if you pop over to my page and um, if you like it, maybe leave a like on my page there. I really appreciate that. Um, Dixie Bell is pretty new in Europe and we're just trying to get it to, to spread the Dixie Bell love in Europe at the moment. Yes. Hello. So I'm just gonna get my phone out. I just need some some light. I'm gonna see if I can too. I know, right? It's turning out really cool.
Donna is loving your lighthouse. Thank you. <laughs> I have to like go back and put windows and things like that on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Satisfying. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> some of this. <laughs> Difference in the see. yeah, it's probably because with this lightning and snow paint, luckily. And as I said, it's just the the coffee underneath. It was just dry to the touch. It's not really cured. And there's some tape on top. This tape is actually pretty good. The lines are pretty crisp, aren't they? Yeah, it's working good. Donna loves the stripes. Oh, thank you, Donna. <laughs> so, then we're going to do a bit of shading at the front here, but um, we're going to do that basically off screen, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that light. Yeah, it's so pretty. I saw I'm sure. Very, very nice. Yeah. Okay, so shall we wait for Christana? I think we wait for her to come back. Just we are here in the show yeah. in, in Frankfurt. And the creative world. Mm. Um, and Dixville came over here to show their products to Europe. So um, we are here in Frankfurt and uh, 
Cristana is just uh, talking <laughs> to some customers um, to show them that it's... Everyone loves and your stripes. Thank you. Thank you so much. So if you watch replay or something like that, just let us know where you're watching uh, from. Just leave us replay in the, in the comments. And if you have any questions, just leave them in German, in English, or just any, any language. And, My name is Angela, I am with Angela Pelton from Ikea in Frankfurt and I am the primary retailer for Dixiebel. I am very honored to be on the Dixiebel page today on their booths basically to yeah, promote their products to the European world. First time I want to say goodbye also to yeah. let you go. <laughs> okay, bye everyone. Bye everybody, thank you for watching.